pool owners right here with first time pool owners group uh on today's video i wanted to give you guys an update on our second month utilizing uh the sutro pool monitoring system right for those of you guys that have watched the unboxing uh prior to having sutro we were using finn obviously finn discontinued their services a couple months back so i really got used to the whole automation right to the whole uh thing of being able to monitor my pool chemistry via my phone so you know we started to do our research and that's when we stumbled upon uh sutro and i'm glad we did uh so so far month two no real major problems to report uh the system takes three samples per day of your pool um obviously it alerts you if there's any issues with the chlorine levels or if there's any issues with alkalinity or ph so it's been great from that front also gives you water temperature as well. Uh, so overall, very, very satisfied with the system. Uh, the one thing that I feel like people don't talk about also, and it's been super helpful to us, is the ability of being able to scan uh, your pool chemicals, right? So you can scan your tablets if you use tablets. You can scan your pH down or your pH up, whatever it is that you're using. And what happens is Sutro then not only analyzes your pool chemistry, but it actually tells you which product or which chemical you should be adding and how much. And for us, it's been super helpful. I travel a lot for work. Up to this date, I'm still refusing to pay a pool professional to come out here every single day and or every single day, sorry, every single week. Gosh, it would be very pricey if they had to come here every single day. But regardless, right, uh, it, it gets really expensive to have somebody come out once a week and check the pool chemistry and everything else. So. I'm a big DIYer, as you guys have seen on the videos, so i rather just do it myself. And Sutra's been great for that, right? Someone like me who travels a lot for work, uh, Sutro gives my wife the ability of being able to also monitor the pool chemistry. So if I'm going for several days at a time, uh, she has confidence prior to letting the kids use the pool. Uh, you know, she's able to go in there, check, make sure everything is good. But also, again, as I mentioned earlier, you know, with the ability of being able to scan your chemicals, it makes it super, super easy for her. If there is an issue while I'm away, uh, she can easily go in there and also, you know, make the necessary uh, corrections to the pool so that, that's so that it's safe for swimming. So, again, you know, overall, very, very happy with Sutro. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out about Sutro is their customer service. Their customer service is by far uh, probably one of the best experiences or customer service experiences that I've had in the past. Uh, towards the beginning, I had a lot of questions, obviously, regarding the uh, the monitor itself, right? Uh, their team was super responsive and answering all my questions. There was even a point where I had a minor concern um, and I reached out to their team only to find out that no, it wasn't a concern, but again, super, super responsive. So again, you're not just paying, obviously, for the monitor. You're not just paying for the replacement cartridges. But their ongoing service is just phenomenal. So I wanted to make sure that I shared a little bit about that. So without further ado, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go over to our backyard. And we are going to show you how to replace uh, the Sutro uh, cartridge, right? This is a procedure that's typically done about once a month. Uh, for those of you guys not familiar with it, every single month I get a package in the mail from Sutro. Uh, it's a replacement cartridge. It typically comes in the mail uh, several weeks, maybe one or maybe two or three weeks prior to the system letting you know that it's time to replace the cartridge. So you'll definitely have enough time between uh, shipping to the point where it's necessary for you to replace the cartridge. So my cartridge literally arrived a couple weeks ago. I finally got an alert today that, hey, you know what? It's time to replace um, uh, your cartridge. So I figured I'd get on here, share with you guys our experience, and now show you guys how to replace our cartridge. Again, for any, you know, if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys are looking for any additional information on Sutro or would like me to do another video focusing on any specific topic, please feel free to put those in the comment below. We, you know, we really appreciate your engagement and your comments as we continue to build upon this YouTube channel to make sure that we're bringing forward content that you guys are interested in and content that you guys are helpful. So let's go ahead, sit back, relax, and let's go to the yard and show you guys how to replace a Sutro cartridge. 
All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is once you get the little notification that the monitor cart the monitor's cartridge and battery will need to be replaced soon, what you wanna do is you wanna put the Sutro in service mode. All right, so now with the monitor outside of the pool, you click on devices out of water. As you can see there, you're gonna get a message that's gonna say, please wait as your monitor is placed into service mode. While the monitor is going into service mode, this is now a good time to go to your hub and pull out the spare battery as you're gonna to wanna to put in a brand new battery uh, when you replace the cartridge. The next step, as you can see here, literally what it's gonna do now is as soon as you hit flush, the Sutro monitor will flush any water that's in the monitor out of the monitor. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press flush. Please wait as water is flushed out of your device. So you can hear it, the device is making noises. You can see it on the bottom. All right, so now that's flushed. What you're gonna see on your screen now is to scan your new cartridge uh, QR code. So we'll do that next. Right on. And the QR code can be found right on the label of the cartridge. So we're going to go in here and we're going to hit scan. Uh, where is it here? And there we go. Cartridge successfully scanned. Click OK. All right, so now it wants us to dry the tether so no water falls inside when opened. So we'll do that next. All right, and now that we've dried the tether, you wanna click on tether and device are dried. So now replace monitor, cartridge, and battery. Open the lid and pull up the core until it stops. You should hear a click. Replace the cartridge and battery in core. Wait 10 seconds after battery is removed before replacing the new one and close the core. Replace the lid and close it tightly until it clicks. So we will do that next. All right, here we go. We're going to press up and replace the cartridge and battery. Wait 10 seconds after battery is re removed before replacing the new one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab it here. Yep, right here, pull the cartridge. And we are gonna go ahead, and let me just dry in here, just to be safe. You don't want water to get in here. And here is the new cartridge. You wanna make sure you remove this sticker before installation. And this just simply goes in here and clips on. That's done. Now for the battery, it's right behind it. We're gonna pull the old battery out. Again, with the old battery out, you wanna wait at least 10 seconds. All right, that's more than plenty. You're gonna insert the battery. Close the core. Spin it till it clicks. That's the click. And then what you wanna do is you wanna hit Continue. 
So as you can see, it's gonna check the device. It wants to make sure the, the core is secured in the device. The firmware is up to date. The battery is charged. The lid is closed and everything is working properly. So it takes a couple minutes. So as you guys just saw, super simple process. The whole thing takes about 10 minutes to replace the cartridge. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Like I said, we're super thrilled to have Sutro in our lives here. Uh, it has made pool care a little bit easier uh, for us here, uh, especially when I am away on business and you know my wife can easily just check the pool chemistry prior to using the pool. Uh, thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel and you like the content, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have plenty of things lined up for 2022, uh, more how-tos, more unboxing, and even a podcast that we're launching here uh, over the course of the next few days. So again, thank you for watching. We appreciate your support.